Hey, I'm Tommy Mora, and I'm here to talk about my new album, Keep On Moving. Keep On Moving is a collection of songs which I have written over the last couple of years. And uh, I think it's a pretty broad sounding record. There's some hard driven songs like Freedom of Love and You Got Me Running to more of a Latin sound with songs such as uh, Going Down to the Border and On My Way to a more classic sound with uh, songs such as Tell Me and Keep On Moving. I grew up in El Paso, a border town in West Texas. And from a very young age, I knew I wanted to be a musician. My mother put me in music school to study guitar and from that moment on, I had discovered a new passion. I started playing music professionally at the age of 13. Me and my cousin and my father had a band. Uh, we call these uh, ourselves uh, Tommy and the Moondogs, which was uh, Johnny and the Moondogs was the name of the Beatles before they became the Beatles. So being such a big Beatles fan, we, we took on that name. I played in several bands throughout high school and college, but in 1999, me and some friends decided to move out to Los Angeles and pursue our musical dream. It was a huge transition for me, but being surrounded by so many great artists, I knew I was in the right place. Keep On Moving was partly recorded at the legendary a and Studios in Hollywood. Same recording studio that We Are The World was recorded. And just to hear my music coming back from those speakers, where Michael Jackson, and Doors, and countless other hits were recorded, was a huge blessing for me. I tend to go for more of a classic sound than a perfect sound. You know, throughout the recording of this album, uh, I could have used just the, the latest and greatest technology, but uh, it wouldn't really define the, the type of musician that I am. I've always been a big fan of the Motown sound and Hendrix, Santana, and the Beatles, like I said. So uh, I've always wanted to capture that type of sound in my music. Going Down to the Border is a song that I wrote from my hometown of El Paso, Texas. You know, after living in Los Angeles for about 13 years now, it's always really exciting for me to, to go to El Paso and visit my family, reunite with friends. And on one of those trips, as I was getting on the bus in Los Angeles, um, I started getting this funky rhythm in my head, you know, boom, 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 boom. So I started writing a bunch of lyrics, how I was going to go have a good time with my friends, whatnot. And I um, started writing these lyrics. And the funny thing about this song is that by the time I had arrived in El Paso, I had the whole song written in my head from beginning to end, from verses to choruses, solos, you name it, the whole thing. I thought that was pretty, pretty special. The song Tell Me is really an idea that I've, that I've always had and I, I turned it into a song. Um, like I was saying, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that classic sound from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And uh, one of my dreams was to have one of my songs be played on an oldie station alongside you know, many of the great artists that I respect and admire. So I recorded this song in my parents' garage uh, in El Paso using an old tape machine. I played all the instruments and later gave to a local DJ by the name of Pete Skaggs to play on his oldie show. Um, to, the, you know, to this day, they still play it every Sunday and it's such a thrill for me to have my song played and then be followed by a Little Richard song or an Elvis song or a Beatles song. Um, you know, this was my version of a classic oldie. And it's really when I realized that these are the kind of artists that I wanted my music to stand next to. I just finished uh, shooting a video with Double Scope Films for my song, Keep On Moving," which is a song that I wrote for my passing mother. You know, one of the last things that she told me uh, was that no matter how much I was going to be affected from her passing, I couldn't let the emptiness and the sorrow win me over. You know, she was always going to be there to look over me. And, you know, we just got to keep on living. We got to keep on pushing. We got to keep on moving. During the final stages of this uh, record, I was very fortunate to have AJ Vallejo, uh, producer, artist from Austin, Texas, to come on board. And uh, he really took an interest when I sent him my first demos. Um, you know, we as artists always get so wrapped up in our music that uh, it's always good to have somebody kind of look from the outside in. 
and uh, he made some changes, man, that I think really made this album a lot more special. These songs were all written from personal experiences, from an inspiration I was feeling at the moment. They all carry a positive message of love and hope. And now that it's out, I would hope that people can connect with it and enjoy listening to it. There's a deep passion that I have for music and I try to express it in every performance. My job as an entertainer is to take you away from your problems and create a special place where the music is all that matters. And if a song or two make you feel good and inspire you to do something positive, then I have accomplished my goal as a songwriter and an artist. I'm really excited to go out and promote this album. I can't wait to get on the road, play for my fans, make some new fans, and really just take my music all over the world as far as people will listen. Go out and get your copy of Keep On Moving. You can find it on iTunes. You can find me on Reroop Nation, Facebook, TommyMora.com, YouTube channel, Twitter, you name it. I'm everywhere. Google me and you can find me. We'll see you guys on the road. Keep on moving.